Hello everyone and welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of Informatica World here at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, alongside my co-host and analyst, Rob Strache. Rob, we're in the middle, we're, we're just starting off day three, uh, three days wall-to-wall -wall coverage. What's, what's really clear at this, at this show is how a Gen AI is really taking Informatica as a company and as a brand to new places. Yeah, and, and I, I think again, it's one of these things that all of a sudden data management has become hot again and it's gone through these cycles and I guess no better person to actually dig into than who we have as then our, our next, next guest. guest. Exactly, yes. well a great segue to introduce Jim Kruger. He is the Chief Marketing Officer at Informatica. Welcome back to theCUBE, Jim. Because I know you. you've been on Thank before. Thank you, great to, great to be on. Yeah, Excellent. I appreciate it. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I mean really, the, the theme of this conference is everybody's excited or everybody's ready for, for AI except your data. Right, And right. And I'd love you to start from, from really the market perspective because mm -hmm. I think companies are, are pretty confused about this. There's so many, there's so many vendors and, and companies don't quite know where, where to go and what to do. Can you talk a little bit about what you're seeing out there? Yeah, yeah, the data management space is, is definitely uh, complex from that perspective. I think there's over 800 vendors in the space and uh, vendors are making all different types of claims in terms of what they can and can't do. And of course, uh, when uh, AI became popular, Everybody jumped on that bandwagon. Uh, the unique thing about Informatica, I think, is that we started working on AI in our platform back in 2017. In fact, last year, Amit showed a clip of himself. Uh, he looked a little bit different, <laughs> uh, but uh, back in 2017, but a clip of himself uh, uh, announcing Claire, which is uh, you know the engine within our platform around AI. So. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, every CEO, every board uh, is, uh, is very interested uh, because there, you know, is, is tremendous opportunity uh, relative to productivity gains, uh, making teams smarter, uh, leveraging AI to do a lot of the grunt work. Uh, and, um, and, you know, even within Informatica, we're using AI across all of our different functions and, uh, and you know, we're starting to get our, you know, sort of feet planted and, and sort of understand how, how to, how to make it work, but it's early days. Uh, and uh, again, people are still learning, but uh, one of the things that Informatica does is, is we help companies to get ready uh, for AI. And, and research shows that you know, a lot of companies that go down the path of, of uh, starting with AI, they run into some roadblocks. And those roadblocks are, you know, they're, they're missing the data quality, the governance, the privacy, all of those things. I think they might think they have it in place, but when they embark upon it, um, we did some research with 600 CDOs, and 93% um, and of the, the CDOs indicated that they understand that data is really important, but only 57% of them had made any changes to their data. Uh, and so, um, and so when they run, run into roadblocks, it's kind of a start stop. So we highly encourage our customers to make sure your data's ready, it's high quality, uh, and then your AI implementation is going to be much smoother, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're even seeing that I mean, in the data that we have, it, it shows that out of the Fortune 100, uh, we had a survey and they, 41 of them respond, the organizations responded, and when you looked at it, half of those organizations were still trying to figure out what use case they were going to take to yeah. production. Yeah. And, and I think it becomes one of those things that you don't know what you don't know right. until you start to get in and start to prototype it. I think one of the key themes that I've been seeing throughout this week has really been to what you were just talking about. Data management and data preparation, how you get that and then govern that so that yeah. the right data gets to the right place at the right time. Are you seeing yeah. that as, I mean, Informatica, I mean, I go back where I was a geek and using Informatica to build cubes yeah. and stuff like that yeah. some 10 years ago, well, yeah. actually over 10 years ago now. <laughs> and when you start to look at where Informatica has come from to where it's going, kind of help us understand the brand yeah. of evolution of Informatica. Yeah, the, the company has gone through a tremendous transformation, uh, a transformation that many companies don't make their way through. Uh, so it's been you know, exciting to be a part of that over the past couple of years and just see uh, the changes uh, that have happened and, and uh, you know, shifting our focus from 
you know, being on-prem to moving into a subscription model and now moving into a pure cloud and consumption model. And, uh, and, and it just, it's a tremendous opportunity uh, because I think most of the players within the data management field uh, are really focused on, you know, one specific category or, or specific use case. And Informatica is unique from that perspective because we take a holistic view uh, of data management and all the key capabilities uh, and there's some key advantages to that because, you know, again, research shows, our research shows that um, I think 58% of the CDOs felt that they needed uh, five or more vendors in order to execute on their data management strategy, but once you go down that path, it becomes a slippery slope because then you have to do vendor assessments, you have different pricing models, uh, the integration isn't there, and so if, if you want to be in the business of integration, which most companies don't, uh, the more vendors you add, the more complexity it's going to add. And in fact, one of our customers, Takeda, who won the Innovator of the Year Award uh, this year uh, at Informatica World, a big congratulations to that team, uh, amazing story because they had uh, they were using eight vendors and they embarked upon our journey with uh, Informatica and went from eight down to two uh, and the amount of ROI and savings that they're seeing is incredible and that's one of the reasons why they they, they won the award so uh, you know most companies are thinking about the use case of today and how do I solve that today uh, and so you know we're trying to you know, work closely with the CDOs and help them to sort of see the future and look out two, three, four years down the line in terms of, okay, what is your data management practice going to look like? Uh, and we have best of breed products across every category uh, and all the integration work is done. We have integration work into, you know, 50,000 plus connectors with all the hyperscalers and, uh, and are investing a tremendous amount of R&D uh, to make sure that we're anticipating customers' needs as we go forward. Well, it yeah. does sound as though that, that that's what's really required is working so closely with these CDOs to make them shift their mindset from using this, oh, what, here's one use case that I right. can consider, focusing from just not the here and now, but for the future. In such a crowded space, as you said, there are 800 vendors. It's crowded, yeah. it's competitive. Yep. How do you approach differentiating yourself in your go-to-market strategy? What, what's your approach there? Yeah, yeah, so we, um, go-to-market strategy is, um, uh, we, we, we set, have set up sort of a, a specific vertical group. So we go go to market uh, specific to verticals, uh, but uh, really hone in on, on the key personas. And we, we try to hit organizations at different levels. So the, the CDO, CIO level is critically important for the, the more strategic view. But then we also have to hit, you know, uh, build community and, and work closely with the data engineers and the practitioners who have to use the technology on a daily basis and make sure that uh, it's going to fulfill their needs. And so having that sort of two-pronged approach uh, at the high level and at the lower level Level and make sure that um, uh, that we're satisfying the needs of, of both of them, and and I think one of the things that Informatica does extremely well is we we get a lot of input from our customers, and we you know cycle that back in. So one of our core values is customer centricity, and uh, and I think it shows because you know when you look at all of the Gardner Magic Quadrants, uh, Forrester Waves, and and every category that we compete in, uh, we are uh, you know in, in the top echelon, number one in each of those categories, and so. When you go with our platform and all the integration work that we do, uh, and the AI that we have embedded in that platform that's been there for seven years, you know, it, it helps c companies, uh, you know, do their, their classification of data, you know, in 50% less time. And you know, we hear stories from our customers that with the automation of our AI, they're able to do things that would have taken, you know, a couple of months and a team of people. Now with AI, they can do it in a matter of minutes or hours with one person, and then they free up their team to be more strategic and focus on how do we move the business forward versus you know, the, the mundane tasks of, of some of the things that they had to do previously. So it's really, I think, helping them to, to free up the time and, and, uh, and, and, like I said, move their data practice forward. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that to me, and the Takeda example is, was great yesterday yeah. when they were on the main stage as well, talking through that. I, I think what we see in the organizations, we kind of been doing research in what we call the six data platform or intelligent next intelligent data platform. What we found is very similar to what you're, you're talking about is there's 800 plus companies that say they do data management. Yep. But if you look at like, maybe they do it in the backup and recovery space, maybe they do it in uh, just 
inside the storage itself for ransomware detection at the right. disk level. Everybody's a data platform now, and everybody right. is doing data management. Yeah. I, I think what we found was that it's bringing different pieces together and getting rid of silos. Yeah. Because there's far too many silos, and we've had some of your great partners on from AWS, mm -hmm. uh, Microsoft, we had Snowflake, we have Google on today. Yeah. You know, all of these people who have solutions that are you know, co-opetition to this. Right. Right. And, and I think what we found is really interesting is that, to your point, Informatica goes across those silos because the, the cognitive load of data engineers to try to, I'm going to use the Google solution in Google with BigQuery and I'm going to go over here and use this with Redshift in yeah. AWS and you know, I'm going to use this with you know, Fabric and Microsoft. That has to be one of the things that people like Takeda and others are realizing. Yeah. It's, not, it's great that you, yeah, I mean, Trust me, I know how much hard work from an engineering perspective goes into getting in those magic quadrants in the top right corner and stuff like that, but it also has to be satisfying that the customers are coming back to you and say, hey, yeah. here's the results that we're getting. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, I think that's uh, one of our key advantages and one of our key differentiators is that uh, we are the Switzerland of data and data management. And so we work with everybody. And so customers that have whatever type of environment uh, they, they have, we, we basically just snap in into that. Uh, and it interoperates across all of the key elements. And like I said, all the different uh, data connectors. And then with, uh, with our, our new announcement and, and general availability of of chat GBT, uh, that, that's going to really turn, I think, the way you access data and interact with data on its head. Yeah. Uh, because typically, the scenario is, you know, somebody wants to, to answer a question, uh, they need data to do it, they go to IT, they ask for a report, it takes two to three weeks to get that report back, and, uh, and time goes by. And so with, with ClearGBT, having that on top of your high quality, governs, uh, holistic data, uh, you're able to get instantaneous answers uh, to, to you know, the majority of the questions that you're going to be, you know, want to ask and to, to move your business forward. So, you know, how, how, many, how many are we selling in this geo uh, to this class of customer, this segment, uh, and, uh, you know, questions like that that you just don't have at your fingertips, you will uh, going forward with that. And then the other key differentiator from that perspective is, again, unique to Informatica is that uh, we have um, a single uh, uh, metadata system of record. And so you have all these different sources of data, and if you go down the path of these siloed approaches with different vendors, you're not going to have this one uh, system, you know, metadata system of record with Informatica. We pull all of that together and make, make the whole engine more intelligent uh, so that the automation that you do uh, and, the, and the decisions that you make are holistic across the, your entire enterprise uh, versus this fragmented approach. So that, that's, that's huge, yeah. Finally, I'd love to have you reflect a little bit on your career. You've been in this industry a long time, and now we're at this real, real cliff where yeah. gener generative AI could really be this enormous transformation in our lives and how we work. Um, on the one hand, we have people like Warren Buffett saying it scares the hell out of them, yeah. and then on the other yep. hand, we come to conferences like these where there's so yeah. much excitement. Yeah. Um, your mandate as the CMO of Informatica is to, is to make sure that the data is sound and, and reliable and trustworthy. Uh, how, that's, a, that's a big deal. It is, it <laughs> that, is. That, that's, a, that's an important part of making AI real. Yeah. Um, can you just reflect a little bit on that and what it means to you in your career to, ha to, to make sure that this happens? Yeah, it's, de it's definitely a uh, interesting time, a, a key inflection point, an exciting time. I think there's some people that get a little scared by it. Um, uh, but uh, in fact, we had we had LeVar Burton as one of our keynote speakers here this morning, and uh, he talked about uh, how excited he is relative to AI and education uh, as just you know one use case and application. But but his his point was that he has trust in human beings, and the human beings uh, you know AI is going to be the, the the servant to human beings, not the other way around. And so he's very optimistic and believes that you know it's going to do a tremendous amount of good, and that humans are going to you know point it in the right direction. Uh, so uh, I think it, it is going to transform the way we work, uh, and it's, 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 I believe it's going to make all of us better in terms of, of how we approach things. I think there's going to be some level of, you know, um, um, 
you know, I would say sort of copycat or, or gen, you know, generic uh, um, following of, of AI because, you know, if you ask certain questions, you're going to get similar things that come back and some companies are going to use that verbatim, uh, but you need the human element, uh, no question about it. And, and we're, I'm super excited. We, we did demos on stage yesterday uh, with our own technology and uh, we're uh, going to be putting that into production shortly for our own teams. And I know my marketing team is, is really excited to start using some of that because it's going to make us smarter, it's going to make us better, it's going to help us to target better and uh, message better and all of those things. So I, I think it's a, just a, a really exciting time and, and, uh, and so, but you have, to, you have to roll with the change. Uh, you have to be willing to experiment. You have to be willing to fail uh, because it's not always going to be perfect. Uh, but you know, I, I think it's, uh, it's going to be truly amazing. Great yeah. insights, great advice. Jim Kruger, yeah. thank you so much for joining us on yeah. theCUBE. Yeah, welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm Rebecca Knight for Rob Strache. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's live coverage of Informatica World. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in enterprise tech news and analysis.